Hi, my name is Pragya Manam, and I am presenting my work on a dexterous compliant manipulator using Delta robots. This work is done in collaboration with my colleagues at Carnegie Mellon University. Our goal was to create soft, dexterous robotic fingers for precise low inertia manipulation. The reason we chose soft materials was to have safe interactions with objects. Whether the gripper bumps into the table or has too much force exerted on it, the inherent compliance causes the Delta robots to return to their original state. This compliance also allows us to manipulate small objects like grapes and cards without damaging them. Our Delta robot gripper is made of 3D printed soft material, creating compliant Delta links. We actuate each of the two Delta robots with three linear actuators for three degrees of freedom per finger. And we use a Franca Panda robot for manipulation task demonstrations. The whole gripper costs about $300, which is cheaper than commercial grippers in terms of degrees of freedom and dexterity. Our Delta manipulator design built on our previous work characterizing the compliant Delta links. The two orthogonal revolute joints allow out of plane rotations and in plane rotations which mimic a universal joint. The offset between these two rotations is de denoted by the parameter K. We test different values of K for accurate Delta robot trajectories and optimize parameters S, P, and L for overlapping workspaces between the two Delta robots. Using neural networks and vision-based tracking, we learned the forward and inverse kinematics for this soft Delta robot. Force profile experiments were conducted to test the payload capacity of the delta in its hemispherical workspace. In the x-axis, we found that the closer we are to the edge of the hemispherical workspace, the less force the delta can exert. We also found that the relationship between the displacement of the end effector and force is close to linear. So we can control the force exerted by the delta using its displacement. Finally, we show the Delta Gripper doing the first of six manipulation tasks that require compliance and dexterity. Here you can see the linear actuators extend to move the Delta throughout its workspace to roll a piece of dough. The goal of this task is to get the flat piece of dough into a cylindrical shape and then pick it up. The dexterity is granted by each Delta robot's three degrees of freedom. This also allows for the dexterous manipulation you see here of the dough as the gripper tries to get under the dough to release it from the table. This task and the next two tasks were done using teleoperation. While existing grippers may use additional degrees of freedom or different manipulation strategies to be able to accomplish this task or some of our remaining demonstration tasks, we showcase our gripper doing all of them. The novelty of our gripper comes from the Delta's parallel manipulator design, which allows for precise low inertia manipulation, as well as the compliance that comes from our 3D printed soft material. In the next two tasks, we manipulate a grape. First, we try to squish a grape completely, but the inbuilt compliance of the Delta prevents us from damaging the grape. Then using spherical fingertips, we're able to twist a grape off of the vine and maneuver around adjacent grapes. The remaining tasks were done autonomously. First, we align a pile of coins using orthogonal squeeze grasps. Then we pick up a single coin from a pile and rotate it in hand. Our last demo involves playing cards. We pick up a single card from a deck with a sliding motion, also allowed by extra degrees of freedom and inbuilt dexterity in our gripper. Thank you for watching.